Time now for another Future Sox video interview. And my guest today is Blake Rutherford. Blake, uh, just finishing a workout out near, uh, out in California, getting ready to go to a spring training here pretty soon. Blake, um, kind of switched the days on you. So thanks for being flexible. For sure. Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, thanks for just, having me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Um, you just said you're out uh, getting a workout in. We'll, we'll get back to the alternate site in Schaumburg and kind of what you're looking forward to, you know, coming up. But, uh, I mean, workout-wise, what, what have you been doing? I mean, has it been – I mean, it's been a little different, obviously, since there was no season last year. What have you kind of uh, focused on this off season? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, we'll talk about kind of the alternate site in, in Schaumburg and, and what happened there. But I've uh, just been trying to kind of build on the way I felt out there. Um, made some good adjustments and felt really good leaving there and just tried to carry it into the off season and um, continue to work on my strength, my power and my speed. And, and um, I didn't want to come back too heavy, but just want to come back feeling like the right weight and, um, and, and have the right amount of strength. And I feel like heading in uh, to the season and in spring training, I feel uh, right kind of where I want to be. Uh, you, you had mentioned who you were working out with. Uh, what are some, some things that you kind of learned from, uh, I mean, you, you can tell people who you're working out with, but what are some kind of, some of the things that you uh, have kind of learned from him and um, whether it be, you know, mental, physical, you know, on the field, just, I guess, kind of learning from, from someone like that. I mean, that, that's gotta be pretty awesome and a big help. Yeah, no, I mean, it's a lot of help. I mean, obviously uh, I've been working out with Christian for a while and, and uh, during these times, there's not a lot of places to go. And I've uh, been fortunate enough to be able to work out with him still and, mm -hmm. and um, just kind of learn from him. Obviously, last year was an uh, interesting year for everyone. And just kind of talking to him about um, his last year and, and uh, the mental side of stuff and um, just trying to work through um, everything and, and work on my own um, things I need to work on. But it's always great to bounce stuff off of him and, and um, kind of understand his look on things and the way he uh, sees what might be happening to me. Uh, not only with my swing and, and the physical stuff of baseball, but the mental side, um, but also just being around him. Obviously, he's a long track record of being a really good player and um, will continue to uh, be a great player. Um, so just kind of learn how he takes things and, and to see his work and, and the progression across the offseason, getting ready for, for the spring training and the regular season for him too. Let's go back to Schaumburg uh, last August, July, August, September, whatever. Um, I got to see a couple of your guys' workouts. I mean, I I was talking to who, who was I talking to? Um, I think it was it was Vaughn or something like that. And then I was talking with, with Brennan Davis of, of the Cubs, and you know, just kind of, you know, you guys can only do so much. I mean, obviously, because you, you're facing the same guys over and over. And I mean, you kind of, it's definitely not a game, but it's also more than nothing. So, what was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was. Um, I mean, it was a great experience as far as getting to be around, obviously, a group of players and. Um, you're around them every day and you got to be careful about what you're doing and um, and what you're doing like at your apartment or at the hotel and and so you just kind of get close with the people that are there and and get to form a, a better bond with them because you're only really allowed to be around them yeah. um, so I mean that was great to meet a lot of new guys and um, get closer with them and grow friendships but also um, the fact of um, just kind of learning um, the day in and the day out and being able to face those type of guys I mean being able to face the 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 arms that were there I mean all those guys are all those guys are amazing and um have great talent and there's a reason why they were there too so in a way it wasn't we weren't able to have like full real games and stuff but, but being able to get at bats off of those guys every day was uh was really good for me and being able to face those arms and just kind of mix and match and obviously you see them more than than once and more than twice sometimes but um they see you more than once or twice too so you're obviously just trying to find thing uh find things to uh get an edge on the other person so it was pretty competitive when it came to that uh another thing i guess from the uh from the schomburg site or situation or whatever you want to call it um you know some guys you know a quick little rehab as well you know, tim anderson was there you, a couple of these other guys nomar was there what uh, and, I, and i know you you've talked to these guys before and, and you've seen them in, in arizona and stuff like that but um what uh i guess kind of what did they kind of bring to the atmosphere as well some of the guys that yeah, were i mean it's always it, yeah, I mean, it's great to be around all those guys. I mean, like, there's uh, obviously a lot of guys that weren't even just rehabbing, but there who had been in the big leagues for a while and had that experience and were able to share little things here and there. And also guys that were rehabbing, like T.A., um, Rodon was there. I mean, just like a bunch of different guys that, that have great have had great success and are great players, and you can learn little things here and there, even 
um, without talking to them, just by watching them, watching how they approach the game, watching um, how they take care of their work. And um, obviously they're all great guys and ready to um, help whenever they need it or however they need it with the younger players that were there, or, uh, me, for instance, too. And, and so it was great. It was great to, to be able to face some of those pitchers while they were coming back and also to just be around some of the hitters and um, watch their bats and, and, and watch how they like get ready to go back up to uh, help the major league team. I'm sure you're uh, tired of talking about, you know, what you've learned, you know, this and that, and you're just ready to play baseball again, play games and, and just get some yeah. sort of, you know, it, you know, life for everyone is not normal, uh, obviously, but some sort of, some level of, of being normal, I guess, when you get to spring training, I mean, is you, what are you most excited about? Yeah, just excited, obviously, to be around all the guys again, and, uh, and to just play games, obviously, you just want to play baseball, and, uh, compete and um, Schaumburg I was fortunate enough to be able to go out there and, and there was I mean yeah there wasn't full games but we were able to compete day in and day out and, and get at bats and and you know it's the best I've really felt at the plate was out there and uh, just making little adjustments and I felt like I was able to to tap into some things I've been trying to uh, get into and and put some good at bats together across the board and I was really happy with how I left there so it was more of just a um, excitement going into the offseason getting ready to continue to to try and to get that feel that I had out there and, and carry it along for uh, for my the rest of my career. So what have you been doing in your free time? I mean, obviously, outside of baseball stuff, you, you know, you mentioned. Yeah, I mean, not, 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 a, not a whole lot. I mean, just obviously uh, California being out here for, for a uh, majority of the time, it was shut down um, a lot. And, um, and that's fine with uh, everything going on. I was just kind of worrying about um, just taking care of my business, working out, hitting and, um, but I mean, just kind of been hanging out the family, um, watching, watching a lot of sports. Uh, I've been golfing a little bit this off season, getting into that, just, uh, one of like the safer places I feel like to go out and just get some fresh air and, and play some golf. But, um, other than that, it's been kind of a low key off season, just didn't really go anywhere. Didn't travel anywhere. Just, um, took it easy, did my workouts, did my hitting and, uh, getting prepared to head out to Arizona this week. The, uh, the consensus I've, I've heard from, uh, like Tyler Johnson and some of these other guys is uh, Andrew Vaughn is the best golfer uh, on the team. I know he had, his dad was a, a pro and stuff. Is this, can you, you second that? Have you, have you played Andrew? What, what, what can you tell me about that? Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've played with him. He is a good golfer. Um, I have played with him. Uh, he can hit the ball a mile. Um, I do have to say, I haven't, I guess, played with him, but I have heard stories and, from teammates and gone to top golf in the past with Gavin Sheets. And I know uh, he is unbelievable at golfing, uh, like crazy, crazy good golfer. So um, I'll have to uh, see him play eventually to confirm. Um, okay. But I did play with Andrew. He's really good at golf. Um, but I, I, uh, I think it might be a close battle with Sheets. I mean, I know Sheets can uh, can definitely play, play some good golf for sure. I haven't seen any of the other guys play, but just between those two, um, they're pretty good, uh, both of them. But I think uh, I think Sheets is is uh, is pretty pretty good at golf too. So so they're both better than you. Or, I mean, where, where do you where do you? Oh yeah, for sure, both better, both better than me. I mean, I can definitely uh, putt better than everybody. Okay. Uh, but uh, now, I mean, I love to play mini putt, uh, mini putt putt. So I just always say I'm the best at uh, putting. But um, I've definitely gotten better from where I started by a long shot, like way better. But uh, definitely way better than me for sure. Uh, Blake, you you said you're you're getting ready to go to Arizona here pretty soon, and you obviously want to get back around the team and stuff. What um, what's something that you've been working on? You know, you, you said you made some tweaks, you were able to tap in a few things. What's something I, I guess specific that you're ready to just you know you know you want to see the live pitching, you want to see different guys and, and get into games. What's one thing that you kind of worked on that you're ready to to say, hey, you know, I've been working on this. I want to see how it translates. Yeah, I mean, just my swing, continuing to work on my swing. I mean, I didn't really make uh, any any huge changes, but just like a little changes here with like just my like load or, or some things I do with my hands, not not anything crazy, but um, just being more aggressive too. I mean, out in the alternate side, I felt like I came out um, from the first at bat, first pitch, kind of ready, uh, ready for ready for anything, ready for the fastball, and I tried not to uh, miss it. So um, obviously, it's going to be adjustment period. Um, pitchers, I mean, all the pitchers have great stuff and. Um, I mean, got to get the timing back and everything, but I'm ready to continue to translate um, that swing and hopefully continue to make little adjustments here and there to continue to grow and, um, and become um, better and more aware of, 
um, like what I what I do and, and what I need to continue to work on with my swing. All right, Blake, I'm gonna let you go. I know you're uh, just finishing your workout and ready to, to get moving. Appreciate it. Um, we'll, we'll chat again soon. Uh, have a safe trip out to Arizona and man, it'll be, uh, it'll be good seeing baseball again. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Blake Rutherford, White Sox outfield prospect here on the Future Sox podcast.